everyone, it's Taylor here, and today I'm going to share with you how I created this cute Easter card to look like marshmallow peeps. So I'll be using three main products, starting with the border die called Block Party Bunnies. That border die cuts out of the front of the cardstock, and those bunnies stay connected to the card front piece. I also have the Marshmallow Bunny Little Bits that is sized to fit over the top of the bunnies in the border. I'll be using the Squishy Hug stamp set that includes the faces, bow ties, and tails for those bunnies, along with several fun sentiments. I'll be using the Playful Pattern Sweet Pattern Paper Pack, along with a piece of window acetate that I will show you a trick for lining up those stamps in the Misty. For ink colors, I will be using Earl Grey along with four different ink cubes, strawberry milkshake, potato chip, saltwater taffy, and mint julep. And lastly, I will be using one of the white rhinestones to embellish one of the bunny tails at the end of the project. So often when I start a project like this, I like to lay out all of my coordinating supplies, including ink, pattern paper, and cardstock, just to get an idea of which direction I'm heading. So here I have that border die and I'm going to line that up across a four by five and a quarter inch piece of paper, making sure those bunnies are centered. You can see the bunnies stay connected to the card front piece they were cut from. Next, I'm going to set that piece aside and trim my pattern paper into three sixteenth inch strips in order to create a backdrop for those bunnies. I'm gluing the strips side by side onto an additional piece of sugar cube cardstock, cutting off the edge, and then you see that fits just perfectly behind that bunny border. Next, I'll be stamping the twinkle twinkle background over the top of this piece. However, I have masked the bunnies first because I don't want the background to show up on the bunnies, but just around the top and the bottom. I've stamped that for a tone on tone look using sea salt ink over the sugar cube cardstock. Now I'm going to share my tips for getting those long borders lined up across the bunnies. They are designed to stamp just perfectly in one pass, but it is helpful to use a piece of acetate hooked into the top of your Misti to create a hinge in order to align them just perfectly. I'm stamping onto the acetate and then wiggling my cardstock underneath the acetate until the eyes are in just the perfect place. Then I will move my acetate out of the way and stamp those again with the Earl Grey ink and you can see the eyes are in just the right spot. Next I'll do the exact same thing with the bow ties for the bunnies, stamping them first onto the acetate in a pink ink, just something that I can see well enough to move that cardstock around underneath until they're in just the right spot. Then I'm washing my stamp off because I'm going to use the mini ink cubes to stamp each of the bow ties in a different color. It's really easy to do with the mini ink cubes, just don't forget to move that acetate out of the way before you stamp the bow ties onto your cardstock. Now I'm going to set up the sentiment, I love no bunny but you, centering that right underneath the middle bunny and stamping it with Earl Grey ink. Once the sentiment is stamped, I decided to bring in the Marshmallow Bunny Little Bits die and cut that out to put over the top of that middle bunny and create a play off of the words, I love no bunny but you, by showing the back side of the middle bunny and adhering one of my white rhinestones as a bunny tail. I'll pop that die cut piece over the center bunny and use a little bit of liquid adhesive to adhere that white rhinestone as a bunny tail. Now I have that piece that I originally created with the pattern paper strips, and I'm going to use foam sticky strips to pop the bunnies up over the top of the patterned piece. You can see it creates just a little bit of extra dimension for the project. The last step will be to add this to a card base, and I've chosen sprinkles as the card base color. I'm going to put more of those foam sticky strips at the top and the bottom of the card, and a little bit of liquid glue in the center to adhere it all down to the card front. There are so many different ways to use this trio of products to make both simple and intricate cards. So if you're ready to play with these calorie-free peeps, you can find them at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.